In this video, I'll show you how to add a file upload on your WooCommerce product page. Let's get straight into it. For example, here I've got this particular mug and in this scenario, we're going to allow our customers to customize this mug so they can add a logo to the mug. They can add some graphics or whatever the use case is. All right. So in this case, we can actually allow customers to upload their custom graphics. And here you can see it's an extra $10 if they actually do want to upload the graphics. So let's add our graphics here. OK, that's uploaded fine. And here we're being charged an additional $10 so we can add this to our basket and then just check out. And then in the back end, the admin will be able to review the order like this. And then you can preview the custom file in which a customer is uploaded. All right. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, we'll be using the year add on a plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. So assuming you've already got it installed and activated, we'll just navigate over to YIF and then product add ons. And then first we can create our block. For example, we can click add new block. And then maybe we only want to apply this file upload to products in a particular category or even specific products. We can configure it here. OK, so we can say um, file upload, for example, and this is just for internal purposes. OK, we can add our block priority and then we can choose where we want to display this particular field that we'll be adding. So we can add it to all products, which I will do for this video just for simplicity's sake, or we can add it to a specific product or even a specific category as well. And we've also got the option to display it to guest users, which are users logged out of your site, only logged in users or even only users with a specific user role. But again, we're just going to keep things super simple and say all products. All right, so we'll add a new option here, a new field option. Then we'll select file upload. I'm going to name this personalization. OK, so this is our personalization option. OK, when we scroll down to the file upload a field, we can add a label. So I'm just going to say choose logo so the customer can choose their logo or even choose message. So whatever makes sense for your particular use case. All right, I'm going to untick this option because I don't want to use this as the label um, in a cart. I'm just going to use the personalization as the label in the cart page. OK, we can enable our tooltip. We can add a description. All right, so we'll enable this option where it says add image as a placeholder. I'm going to upload our image. OK, so that looks good. And then here for the price, we've got three options. So one, we can allow customers to upload their logo or design for free, or we can increase the price or decrease the price if they actually upload a logo. So I'm going to increase the price and it's just going to be a fixed amount of $10. All right. And we can do a fixed or a percentage amount. We can set this to be required and we can also allow customers to upload multiple different files as well. Let's hit save and then we'll save this again. OK, so let's head over to our product page and let's actually test this out. So let's view product. All right. And this is our custom mug. And then here it's prompting customers to actually add a logo. All right. So they can add a logo for an extra ten dollars, which we can see here. So let's add our logo. OK, and that's been added fine. And now our total comes to forty five dollars instead of the thirty five dollars. So let's add this to our basket. OK, and here you can see that we're being charged ten dollars for this particular logo. All right. And the customers can go ahead and proceed to the checkout. All right. So that's been placed fine. So now let's head over to our dashboard. OK, so we can see the customer order here and we can also see the file in which they've uploaded to our website. I can subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in a comment box.